It's a case that continues to haunt so many. The murder of Joe Clyde Daniels. The little boy's father is now serving life in prison, but the legal battle is far from over. Joe Clyde's body still never been found. But now, as Nick Barris tells us, the defense has filed the legal briefs arguing for a new trial. Joseph Daniels is arguing that he deserves a new trial. And we knew this appeal was coming from the day the jury convicted him of murdering his son. As to the charge of first degree murder and the perpetration of a felony crime, how does the jury find? The verdict came down two years ago in Dixon County. Guilty, sir. Daniels is now serving 51 years in prison for the murder of his son, five-year-old Joe Clyde, back in 2018. But from the day he started serving that sentence, his lawyers have argued mistakes happened at trial. We had a lot of reversible errors in the trial, and so He's advised he wants to pursue an appeal. Now legal briefs have been filed arguing Daniel's confession was coerced during hours of questioning and should never have been allowed at trial. Why did I go my son? My my the other issue is the guilty verdict came with no physical evidence, no blood, no murder weapon, and no body. Only the testimony from Joe Clyde's brother, who says he witnessed his dad beat the boy and carry him away. The defendant started walking down the driveway? Yes. What had he done with Joe Clyde? He had him in his arms. So what are the chances of a successful appeal? Candidly, one of Daniel's own attorneys says it's a long shot, barring something like the discovery of Joe Clyde's body. But there's no indication the remains after all this time will ever be found. The filing of this appeal has now also opened the door for the Innocence Project, which has contacted one of Daniel's attorneys. The group looks for those wrongfully convicted and will likely wait for the appeal to be heard first early next year. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. Thanks, Nick. Uh, a reminder, Joe Clyde's mother, Crystal, entered a no contest plea for child abuse. She's now serving 15 years in prison.